This one? No. This one. Oh. Don't seem very worthy. It is not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. gates unto Eden. Not this one. This one's not clean. Cleansing, John. No, Joseph. You have to love them, John. Do not let your sin prevent that. Bring that one to me. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. All the gates of Eden shall be shut to you, John. Yes, yes. You will confess. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. <sighs> then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. Right away, we'll be okay, right? No. You'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now.
I do not come from wealth. I come from poverty. I come from despair. I come from a world that is ignored. So my children, God sees us. God hears us. Humanity has reached the threshold and it must change. I'm gonna call in reinforcements. Cover my ass! I got your back! How is it that one child wants the nothing? While the child next door. Thanks, Dad. We don't take care of that mortar. I see. Mur I'm gonna haul ass. It's murder. No, go, go. Oh. on the other side. We gotta get him. We can't leave Merle behind. It's Merle. Merle's on the other side.
Resistance is gonna... Come on, Resistance. No, stop. These Peggy's are really fucking determined to get us in John's bunker. I see him! Oh, I'm gonna tell those horses! This is gonna save me. God damn! Thanks, Deputy. I thought I was a goner. Deputy, we've sent in a chopper to pick you up, so just hold your ground until it gets there. Those Peggy's got everyone scared out of their mind. Deputy, we've sent in a chopper to pick you up, so just hold your ground until it gets there. A flare! More Peggy's are gonna be here any minute!
your will, Deputy. I know you're looking for your friend, but Falls End was just a piece of the whole community that needs our help. Once we're strong enough, we'll free every last one of those prisoners. That's a promise. They really think they're saving us. Saving us! Locked up in a shithole? Get out of here! Those fucking cowards swarmed me. They said they were saving me. Told me to put my trust in the father. Who the fuck's the father anyway? They should have put a bullet in my head. I was pissed off. Now I'm fucking furious! This one off. Who did that? What the hell's that? Damn. Old Merle can feel the tension building. It's tense now. Thanks for taking care of Falls End for us. Pastor Jerome called us in to make sure you got here safely. Overprotective, I'd say. You can sure take care of yourself. Between you and Merle, I don't know who's tougher to kill. Your help at Falls End. I know a lot of those people you saved today. Can't thank you enough. Everybody's just disregarding the legal hunting laws now. Just goes to show that the nation's been fucked. Freeing falls in with this thing. Can't believe you made it out of that alive. Beacon's Gate didn't take you seriously before. They sure do now. Soon enough, that sign out there in the hills ain't gonna hold much weight. Hey, guy. Still standing, I see. Nice to see you, bud. That was a fucking scramble. Pastor Jerome called us in to make sure you got here safely. Overprotective, I'd say. You can sure take care of yourself. We can breathe easy and falls in, thanks to you. Between you and Merle, I don't know who's tougher to kill. <laughs>